Hey guys, Coderbyte again, another code challenge here. Distinct list of again code assessment, whatever way you prefer. So medium, uh, medium difficulty here. Uh, this challenge we will remove uh, duplicate elements from array. So yeah, let's getting started. So we have function uh, distinct list uh, takes array uh, numbers store it in array and determine the total numbers of duplicate and entities. Uh, for example, if the input is 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, then program should, re, uh, should output 2 because 2 duplicates 1, uh, uh, 2 elements. Okay. Right, so again, because 2 consider it as Again, okay, but after that we have two twos. Let's grab a better example. So when we go here, we'll have minus two, so basically just one here, and additional two fives. Okay, three and zero, there is, yeah, if nothing, that will return zero. Okay, let's come up with implementation again. We're going with JavaScript, dark light mode, as you prefer, guys. And yeah, let's put some code in place. Alright, kind of the one of kind of shorter from code the line prospective code will be using set. So we'll create set, uh, let's say a striplet uh, array here, and we'll store uh, unique elements from array. So uh, we'll kind of do that trick. So we'll kind of cut all duplicates automatically. So which is again, it's not visible, and again, it's probably not again just reliable way oh yeah but it's definitely workable uh, uh, calculate and after that we'll calculate uh, numbers of duplicate entries and by, by subtracting again original uh, strip array and the original so whose assumption will be zero or more uh, than this one so again uh, and the idea here is that uh, set only store unique elements uh, so that's why again we don't have any duplicates here. So this is one implement potential implementation. Let me just bring you another uh, with not using kind of this uniqueness uh, feature here. So here's another one. Uh, create, we'll create new set. So we'll still will be using set to store our unique elements. Also we'll have the uh, variable uh, du uh, duplicates here. So we'll initialize this as zero kind of by default. We'll, use, we'll go with our for loop through the each element in the array. So kind of usual stuff, array length. So the, the, the idea here is that we will check if elements in array is already in the set. So again, we'll have our set and function has. So basically throwing the values and we'll check and if elements is already in the set, we'll basically definitely keep counting this because it's main output for us. And again, if not, uh, so we'll add uh, this element to the list. So we'll keep create kind of unique, uh, uh, adding up unique uh, values in our set. So again, when we go through the whole loop, again, the whole array play length, we'll basically uh, con con uh, keep counting, adding up uh, uh, plus one, we will just return our deduce uh, out there. So yeah, let's run code three. I guess, yeah, it's expected here and I believe it will be the same test cases. Yes, three and correct zero, okay. I believe we should be safe to submit this again. We'll go with this kind of length implementation to its understanding and implementation again. When you progress with your skills, you almost probably would be preferred that method, uh, first implementation that we did. Okay, let's go. We'll accelerate this one. Okay, all test cases completed. Submitting, and yeah, we got all our test cases were correct. So yeah, this implementation stays. Submitted again. Uh, we got uh, what we needed again. It was the distinct list uh, uh, Again, it's usually source code will be in description below Just let me know if you have any other questions or would like to see any other kind of particular challenges or from other platform or other languages Thank you. Please consider subscribe like and see you next one. Bye guys